Hello everyone. Today I'm going to give the final tips to score good marks in maths class 12th, uh, which is going to be held on 7th June. So a lot of time is there. So let us start with the uh, first uh, uh, tips. They, all these tips are before maths exam and uh, then I will discuss during the exam also. So let us start with the first one. Complete the entire syllabus from NCRT and uh, uh, CBSC has published the official sample paper and based on that a detailed blueprint of the examination format uh, that is question paper format and chapter wise distribution of marks prepared you should be very familiar with the blueprint as a pattern question paper pattern I will display in the next slide as the question paper of the board examination is always based on uh, NCRT. So therefore, first complete the entire term to syllabus from the NCRT class 12th mathematics, that is part two, because part one was completely in uh, term one, uh, to understand the concepts of each and every chapter. So only six chapters are there, so you have to complete all the six chapters thoroughly from NCRT book. So this is the blueprint and uh, uh, four sections are there, section A, section B, section C, uh, three sections are there, section A, B and C. First section 2, which is 6 questions and one question is internal choice. Hai. And the second section, section B, three marks each question. And in these two questions, we uh, you, should, you will get internal choice. And in question number 4, you will get only one question internal choice and there is only one case study based question and that is given from probability. So that is not sure that uh, will get uh, you will get the case study question from probability but it is uh, almost sure that the question will come from probability so question jo hai wo 3d uh, geometry se bhi aa sakta hai to uh, jo student jo hai wo baaki dusre chapter se se bhi uh, case study based questions practice karenge but most probably the questions will be from probability so let us um, uh, go through the next uh, tip maintain a separate book or a4 size paper for formulas, theories and methods. We know that the mathematics subject is all about formulas, uh, theories, concepts and you are always suggested to keep them handy. This practice is really useful when you are doing your last minute uh, revision uh, before going to exam. And uh, the unit which carries more marks. So just now we have seen that the integral chapter consists nine marks, integral chapter, sim single chapter. So in the question paper should be given more time to practice and that, that is difficult also compared to the other chapters. So you have to give more time to practice in that particular chapter and vice uh, like that other chapter. So after completing the entire syllabus from the NCRT textbook, complete my uh, minimum level study material. I will give, I will provide the link in, in the description box and then go through any of the author like R.D. Sharma or R.S. Agrawal etc. It gives a broader view of the questions to be asked in the paper. Moreover, it provides more questions to the students to do more practice. After completing the revision work, now solve CBSE sample paper for uh, board exam. Okay. CBSE sample paper for board exam, which, which was published by CBSE. Now start from section C, that is four marks questions and then section B three marks questions and lastly section A two marks question and uh, if you are not comfortable with sequence you can go uh, um, reverse also A B C and the suggested time management for section wise is given below which may vary for student to student so two marks questions section A six questions are there so I will suggest to uh, for, uh, to for each question three to four minutes maximum 25 minutes and for uh, the three marks questions, four questions are there, six to seven minutes time and uh, maximum 40 minutes. And uh, last section C, four marks question, which is a case study question, hai, seven to 10 and maximum 40 minutes. So all together and 10 minutes revision time. So all together 115 minutes time and uh, five minutes or bachara is baad. So attempt all my sample papers, that is 10 sample papers along with the answers as test using the above suggested time management from my website blog, that is www.kumasa34.wordpress.com by fixing time for each sample paper as 1 hour 45 minutes. Doing enough practice of sample papers boosts the level of self-confidence of the 
students right so i will if you are not able to get uh, from my blog then i will pro uh, better i will provide the links in the description box right now practicing the sample paper also teaches the concept of time management to the students i'm sure that this exercise will help you to complete your board exam in one and a half hours now the read the question paper now coming to the tips during your maths exam read the question paper with full concentration use the first 15 minutes reading time carefully and only one case study question are there if you are comfortable you can solve that a uh, case study question in your mind so that you can attempt uh, when the time starts and effectively by going through the question paper at least twice and marking all the questions which seem difficult and leave them for last first attempt those questions which you are sure about starting from c to a or a to c according to your convenient understand worth of each question never spend too much time that is 5 to 10 minutes on two more questions if you don't know the solution for a particular question leave some space for that question and uh, move to the next question answer sheet should be neat and clean rough work should be done on the same page by drawing a margin do not cut the rough work if you could not get the answer partial marks may be given for time uh, work done avoid overwriting so what uh, i will suggest that some students used to rough on the last page by putting the heading rough work. so don't do like that on the same page where you are writing the answer you put a margin and you saw you do the rough work and don't uh, means don't rough it okay Usko nahi mithana. leave it like that sometimes what will happen your total in the rough work, it is correct and total in the fair work it is wrong so sometimes uh, it may be considered as partially not fully but partially right use pencil and scale to draw the figures never draw a figure with the use of a pen so this may jo application of integral ke ko jo questions and this may graph draw karna hai. so don't do it with the uh, pen you use only pencil don't leave any question unattempted so write down anything you know about the question even if it is wrong there is no negative marking so attempting a question even if you do, don't know the answer completely will not hurt so never lose your patience during the exam if you do not know the answer to any question do not lose your patience after completing the familiar questions uh, take a long breath take a long breath this is take or uh, take a long breath and think about the concepts involved in that particular question this will definitely help you to recall some steps of that questions and revise 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 it's a great that you get done with the paper before time but do not leave the exam just yet take a breather relax and start going through your answers double checking your calculations making sure you have not committed any silly mistakes always remember that once you leave the exam hall then there is no way back so don't leave the easy questions till the end over the year of teaching mathematics to school children, I have noticed this very common tendency of students to attempt the harder questions right from the beginning. So start with the easy questions, get warmed up and you will find that you can go through the question paper a lot more smoothly than before. And uh, this will help you finish the paper before time also and reduce the likelihood of making silly mistakes. Over preparation is a very big problem. I have noticed many times that students see similar questions that they may have subsequently uh, committed to memory and solve them without going through the problem statement so there is no need of no need to memorize math at all it is one of the most logical subject out there simply follow the steps method and you will always arrive at the right answer so these are the uh, few tips uh, before examination and during your math examination so i wish you all the best for your future all the best for your maths exam Thank you. Thank you very much.